Well, well, pot pickers, it is slightly warm to be going out trail riding at the moment, so I thought I'd have a little fiddle because uh, I'll get bored. So what we're doing today is having a good clean up of these switches because uh, nobody actually goes in there to service them and uh, they do get corroded up. And if you have a look, look at the dust on these, look, and that's, uh, that's in the closed. That's when it's up plugged inside there. So we're going to give those a good clean, a bit of a lube. Now then, to get those off, I'll put my screwdriver, hold on. To get those off, you get these little things here that you've got to squeeze the ears in while they're in their sockets. And the only way to access those ears is right down from the top there, one side at a time. Ease the ears in, pull the plugs off. They do, for the pedantic, they do actually slide off, look, if you can get in there. But you won't be able to get in there, there, to slide it off because that's facing downwards. So, once you've cleaned those, another good little tip. If you want full control of your bike and you don't want to be controlled like a baby, you can get this clutch starter switch here. There's a couple of wires on it. Take the wires off. Bridge them out. Oh, I've used a couple of speaker connectors with a loop of wire up so that I can put it back to standard, but there's no need to do that. You could just cut that off and join that together, really, if you're going to use the bike as a tool and not as a showpiece. Cut that off, get rid of that. The bike will start in gear anywhere, anytime. And then the other thing which really pisses me off is people leave these side stand things on, starter switches. So basically the bike won't start with the side stand down. That's dumb as hell, because uh, if you want to tip your bike over and get the back wheel off the floor so you can fire it up and grease your chain, you can't, because of the safety switch. Take it off, follow the wire all the way up here to the rubber condom, which is just inside there. Up in there is a green plug, disconnect it, bridge out the wiring loom side, tape it back up your bike will now start with a side stand down if you forget to leave it down or you forget and leave it down and you crash well that's your fault but most of us are intelligent enough to be able to do it now then another thing that people often uh, ignore is the starter switch now this is the second take of the video on the first take that was sticking in like that in the start position it's not doing it now ah there it is there it is there it is bad boy there it is right you can see it's actually start start he's stuck in the start position that's because it's dry up inside on the bottom there's a vent hole now uh, the light's working against us here isn't it uh right can you see that little vent hole there yeah, get an airline in there, give that a good blow through, and then give that a squirt with some lubricant. That'll lubricate it back up. It should be greased, really, but you've got to take the switch apart for that. I've had trouble with that before. And then moving back at the front here, with this lot here, I actually disconnected my uh, main beam, because uh, I thought, well, I don't need my lights running all the time. I can leave the ignition switched on with it switched to main beam, and that way the bike can sit there with the ignition on with no lights on not draining the battery well my dip beam's blown now and uh, I kind of realised the only time I really need the lights is when I'm riding over in a pitch black and that's when I need main beam so I'm going to put the main beam back in but to uh, remove them once you've taken the switch off if you prise the back of that connector block off all these little tags here are the teeth that hold the wires in so you can extract the wires one by one so you can play around with that and do whatever you like um so what i did was i pulled out the main beam and stuck some ink shrink on it i'm now going to take the ink shrink back off i'm going to put it back into the main beam hole and then uh, my lights will work on main beam which will do me and then all i'm going to do then is clean this lot up because they're absolutely filthy and there's supposed to be an accessory 12 volt live here, which I'm going to wire a um, phone charger into. So that's my task for the day. Good clean up and a bit of a fiddle.
later then.